The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. All right, Mr. Telefetto TV. All right, I'm not going to lie to you. I usually don't have a lot of sympathy for artists in these situations because there are a lot of regular folk out there who are dealing with these situations day to day. They don't have multi-million dollar net worth lawyers. They don't have big expenses to pay for a good representation. A lot of these guys got public public defenders. It's rough out here. And when I see artists who are in positions of power to feed their families, take life for granted, it's tough for me to have sympathy for them. NBA young boy, 17 year old father of three children, a rapper out of Louisiana, very talented brother, got a huge fan base. A lot of people believe he's the next up to follow a long lineage of guys like Boosie, Webby, Kevin Gates as of late. A lot of people believe that young boy at some point in the near future is the next up. He has the music, he got the wave, he got the fan base. It's, uh, it, it's going to be his time in the upcoming years, right? The young prospect with a lot of potential. He got the break of a lifetime. This year for him, his last opportunity. He just had his, his 10 year sentence suspended. And he's going to get probation for the next three years. This happened after he pled guilty to a single reduced charge of aggravated assault with a firearm. All right. He was originally booked on two counts of first degree attempted murder after being identified as one of the gunmen in the November 2nd shooting in, in Baton Rouge, his hometown. That was a huge story for those who don't know. A young boy was going to do 10. Police believe that the shooting was a part of um, three shootings in a two-day span. One guy was killed. God rest the dead. In this three-day shooting, it could have been worse. Um, the judge even took it as far as to say, you're lucky that all your shots, NBA young boy, were bad shots, and pretty much none of y'all can shoot in the shootings that we can prove that you were at. So he is lucky nobody else died or this would be a different conversation today now i really don't understand the 10 year suspended sentence i don't get that but i'm just guessing here he's on thin ice and if he does anything else they'll bring back that 10 year sentence in a heartbeat and he'll have to serve it now let me make this clear since nba young boy has come home the music ain't really changed and i'm fine with rappers telling their story but it's got to be with the ED on it. That's how I call it. In the past tense. You can tell your story, but talk about what happened. Not about what you're doing. I seen NBA young boy in the crew with the paintballs. I'm not saying he can't have fun. I just think for the near future, that's not the, what he needs to be showing the judge. He needs to chill out all the way. Until he can somehow in the future um, kind of blemish this get rid of this this terrible negative image that he has right now all right nba young boy told the judge he's going to do right and the judge told him failure is not an option nba young boy gets the break of a lifetime his brother was facing 10 years pretty much as a attempted murder he's going to get off with an aggravated assault do three years probation and somebody was telling me that the suspended term could come in the next couple years at some point in the future or it could not come at all i don't understand that in totality i'll do more information and come back with you guys with another story but it looks like nba young boys gonna dodge this term i don't understand how you could suspend a term i got niggas right now they be they would love if you suspend their term or people that i know they love you they can suspend their term so they can get away on y'all ass so again i want to say nba young boys getting a break because he is an artist I'm not, I don't really rock with that. You did a crime, you got to do the time. I don't want to sound cliche and corny, but that's the truth. All I know is if anybody in NBA Young Boys camp is listening or him himself, you got one shot, my brother. I told you the same thing to Kodak Black a few months ago, and it looks like Kodak Black ain't really taking what people have told him around him and using it because he said he, he kind of missed the street life. You got one shot, NBA Young Boy. If not, you're going to end back in jail or, you know, in prison for a 10-year bid. God bless you. I hope you figure it out. You just dodged a bullet. But this will be the last bullet you dodged, no pun intended. Because that situation was, I read the details of what happened. Y'all was just out there shooting as if y'all was shooting with paintballs. 
Miss Teleferro TV, subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. NBA young boy, three years probation. For the meantime, he's dived a 10 year sentence for a November 2nd shooting. Subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah!